guys, Byron here from HobbyKing.com. I've got a new product to show you today. It's the Turnigy HD Action Camera. I'm really excited about this because it's very cool. You know, most of you out there are looking for uh, alternatives to uh, GoPro uh, for a action camera that you can put uh, not only in your brushless camera gimbals, but just for general RC use. And we finally got the solution for you. Um, First thing to talk about the form factor in this camera. Uh, it's very similar size to the GoPro Hero 3. Uh, main difference with this, the depth. So from the front to back, uh, it's a bit thicker on this model. And uh, the reason being, this has an integrated LCD screen. So uh, whereas the GoPro and some of the other uh, action cameras you see, they have an optional add-on LCD screen. Uh, this is quite nice because it has it built right in the back. So because of that, it's a bit thicker. But this is no problem. Uh, the great thing about this, about these dimensions, is it allows it to fit in most uh, brushless camera gimbals that are designed for uh, GoPro uh, Hero 3s. So you see, for example, we've got it here on our Quantum Nova. Uh, this is our Quantum Q2D uh, brushless gimbal, and you can see this fits just perfect. Uh, one thing you need to do, uh, the only, um, it's not really a modification or anything, it's just you need to use longer screws when you're mounting this in the gimbal. Uh, the standard screws that come with Q2D are designed for uh, GoPro, uh, so uh, they're a bit uh, shorter. Now, all I've done in this case, I've just taken some uh, M2 by 8 millimeter uh, length screws, and uh, that allows you to put it here. And you can see there's just a small gap uh, between the uh, bracket and the, uh, the actual base of the gimbal. No problem at all, otherwise fits perfect and works very, very well. Now to dive into the specs a bit on this, uh, this is uh, it's full HD, it's 1080p resolution, and uh, it's 30 frames per second, uh, so quite good. And uh, of course the resolution is adjustable as well, you can do 720p uh, all the way down to like VGA uh, as well. Uh, it will of course do still shots in addition to video, uh, it records audio as well. And uh, as I mentioned before, the LCD screen, it's quite a nice feature, so when we uh, power the model on, see on the back here, the integrated LCD is very nice, so you've got uh, you know live uh, image of uh, what you're recording, and then you have some different options. You go in, and uh, that just makes it full screen. Uh, you hit it one more time, and we'll get into the menu. So this has a full uh, integrated on-screen menu, which is very nice. You've got uh, full programmability, such as uh, resolution, uh, cyclic recording, a uh, ton of features here. It's got motion detection option uh, for motion-activated uh, video recording. Uh, you've got audio settings you can change, uh, time date stamp, uh, timer, uh, all kinds of different things. Sharpness, quality, white balance, color, uh, ISO exposure. So tons of options here. It's even got uh, anti-shaking uh, as well. Uh, so really a feature-packed uh, camera here in that uh, standard action cam uh, form factor. So very cool. Uh, you'll see also this has the white faceplate, which uh, is designed primarily to match our Quantum Nova. So it really just looks great on the quad, as you can see here. Uh, really nice match overall. Now, uh, one thing else to mention about this faceplate, uh, these are very easy to replace. Uh, we've actually got some different colors on the way, so we're going to have some options for you guys if uh, you do want to change the color out from white. Uh, so you just want to keep your eye on the website for those. Those will be coming in the next couple of weeks. Now, uh, I want to go over the accessories that come included with this. Uh, first thing, and uh, very important for some of you who want to use these uh, in wet conditions, uh, comes the waterproof case. So very cool. Uh, this is rated at up to 30 meters depth and a pretty standard type thing you see on uh, most of these action cameras. So that is sealed. Uh, looks nice in the case. Gives you uh, waterproof uh, capability with the camera. You get a ton of accessories uh, in addition in the box here. So we've got, this is a uh, belt clip mount. Uh, we've got just different various uh, clip mounts, uh, handlebar mounts, putting on a bicycle, something like that. Uh, helmet mount. Very cool. So, uh, you know, a lot of these accessories that come with it are uh, things that are normally sold as optional parts for, say, like a GoPro or some of the other cameras on the market. Uh, this is great. just comes with everything right in the box. Now, this has a rechargeable battery inside. It's a lithium-ion battery, and these, uh, the battery stock is 900 milliamp, and it provides uh, actually over an hour of recording in full HD if you're recording in 1080p. Um, it's rechargeable via USB, and of course you can take the battery out and replace it. Um, we're going to have spare batteries as well, so you want to stock up and get you a couple extra batteries uh, for um, you know, doing your back-to-back uh, -back recording. So anyway, guys, that's it. It's the Turnigy uh, HD Action Camera. Uh, when you see the price, you're going to be very excited. Um, you know, really got some great features. Uh, you know, they're on par with industry leaders such as uh, GoPro at a fraction of the cost. Now, speaking of that, speaking of the GoPro, uh, we've actually done a little comparison video that we're going to show you now. And uh, we've taken, basically, we've taken our Hero 3 Plus that we have. We've set it to uh, 1080p, 30 frames per second, same as the Turnigy Action Camera. And we've put them side by side on a stick mount so you can see uh, the comparison between the two. So we're going to show you that now.
So the first thing we want to show you is the, uh, the color actually between the two cameras. Uh, you can see the Turingi camera is actually quite vibrant uh, compared to the GoPro. Uh, of course, you can adjust settings on the GoPro, um, but this is actually just default settings for both cameras. And you can see here side by side, uh, the colors are quite vibrant and uh, very accurate on the Turingi camera. Actually looks very, very good. Okay, now the next thing we wanted to compare is the sharpness. Now you can see here as we get close to the uh, blades of grass uh, side by side, you've actually got more detail and more sharpness out of the Turnigy camera. We're very surprised uh, because you can see side by side with the GoPro, uh, it actually does very, very well. So now the last thing we wanna compare or show you is uh, the transition between light and dark. So right now we're uh, pointing the camera at the sky and as we pan down here to the uh, darker area, uh, you will notice that on the Turnigy camera, the transition from light to dark is a bit more noticeable than the GoPro. So the GoPro does do a bit better in this case, uh, but overall we think Turnigy still does very, very well in this situation. Okay, and I'll go over with you the uh, connections and the ports on this camera. So we'll take it out of the waterproof case here. And I'll show you on the side here, uh, this is the uh, business end, I guess you would say. Uh, you've got a few different outputs. You've got uh, your USB connection uh, for charging and for data transfer. You've got an HDMI output, uh, which can be used for uh, playback on uh, you know, LCD TV uh, or other devices. And then of course you've got your uh, micro SD card slot. Now this can support up to a 32 gigabyte uh, micro SD card. On the other side here, you've got your uh, function keys. These are up and down for scrolling through your uh, on-screen menu. And on the front, we've got our power and mode button. And then on top is the OK button, which is used to select uh, functions on the menu and also to start and stop recording. Okay, it's basically it, guys. You've uh, seen the Turnigy Action Cam side by side with the GoPro Hero 3 Plus. Uh, we think after uh, you see the video that you will agree that um, this is an excellent value for the money camera, uh, perfect for your uh, multi rotors with uh, brushless gimbals or really any other RC application. So it's on the website now, guys. Check it out on the new items page. You can see the full specifications in the product listing. And uh, also check out the accessories below. We've got some replacement parts such as batteries and uh, some of these uh, hardware options uh, in the product listing as well under the uh, related items tab. So check it out, guys. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel as well. Yeah.